park. It's open to the public. Well, at least that's what we thought. But apparently not if, you know, we can't hand out free food. Talk about no thanksgiving at the park. Church members wanting to do a good deed by simply feeding the homeless instead are told to leave. Tonight, CBS 12 goes searching for answers. You have to take I, your questions to the administration. Did, are, are you the, sorry. Are, are you the one that okay, told these folks that? I understand. Are you the ones that told these people to leave? Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm John DeCepolo. Happy Thanksgiving to all, but apparently not for the homeless, at least the ones living at John Prince Park in Lake Worth. Today is a day to think of others, which is exactly what some Christian folks wanted to do. But when the church group tried to deliver food to those in need, they were ordered to stop by a park ranger. Tonight, in a CBS 12 News exclusive, Israel Balderas tried to ask one simple question. Why can't the homeless be fed at a public park? God takes care of us, you know. We don't starve. We're grateful. Stephen Griffin and his wife, Dominique, are homeless. John Prince Park in Lake Worth is their home, and they're not the only ones. That's why a dozen church members... I do whatever I can. ...like Teresa Del Rio from Acts 2 Worship Center in Loxahatchee, showed up with packaged Thanksgiving meals. We brought our kids out here so they could see what it's, what it's really like uh, for people that are struggling. We do a lot of mission trips and helping the homeless and stuff like that. And this act of kindness was greatly appreciated. We're grateful, you know, they hand out, we meet the guys and stuff, you know, we, they uh, give us a pair and everything. But then, just as the homeless like Kevin were being fed, a Palm Beach County park ranger comes up to the church group and orders them to stop and leave. Yeah, everybody just went, huh? It's very disappointing. Um, we didn't intend for this today. We just wanted to give the food. So, CBS 12 News walked around Prince Park and followed the church members who just wanted to deliver the remaining Thanksgiving packages. <laughs> Despite being told by the park ranger to leave or be ticketed. Mr. Park Ranger. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? Right, how you doing? Israel Balder, CBS 12. We also tracked down the park ranger that witnesses say was kicking out the church members. These I'll folks are talk. You have to take I, your questions to the administration. Did, are, you, are, are you the one that okay, told these folks that this being Thanksgiving, we were respectful of the park ranger? Uh -huh. They're saying that you that you okay, told I some church people to leave. Hi, I can't I understand. talk to you. My You're a public. Don't want me to talk. I, park ranger Mark said he was ordered to warn the church members that they were violating county ordinances. What's the difference between having a picnic and giving out, you know, hot dogs and burgers? You need to direct your questions to the parks administration. Could you just do me a favor? Could you just give me the ordinance in, in, in the county code that says they can't feed the homeless? The park ranger couldn't cite for us the specific law that gave him the authority to kick out church members from a public park. So he called dispatch to ask for help. Channel 12 is here, wants to talk to me about the... Um uh, previous activities gone on here previously and I'm not allowed to talk with them. They're asking to speak with you. That previous activity would be the ranger telling the church group that they couldn't feel the homeless. At first we were told only the director of parks would talk to us, but he wasn't available today. A gentleman would like to know the ordinance that we referenced for today's um, activity. Dispatch told us that feeding the homeless was not a permitted activity by a large group, but what constitutes an activity and what size is too large. So you're uh, coming to John Prince in 10 minutes? We waited for Mark, the park ranger's supervisor, Max Stewart, to show up, but that never happened. And I'm sorry I couldn't talk with you guys, no. but they put, they got a strict orders. Mark, and what we were doing today, they also gave us. They, they, uh, you were following orders, is that fair? Yes, sir. By the time we finished talking with the park ranger, Axe 2 church members were done passing out the food they had. The homeless at the park were thankful for people giving up their Thanksgiving Day to think of others. Tomorrow, they'll be hungry again, and if someone tries to feed them, that activity could be a violation of the law. For now. In Lake Worth, I'm Israel Balderas, CBS 12 News. Now, we researched the Palm Beach County Ordinance Code under Article 2, titled Park Rules. We looked up Section 2129, Recreational Activities, and Section 2134, Public Demonstrations and Gatherings. By the way, neither of those sections ever mentions feeding the homeless as being against park rules. To see the entire interview with that park ranger, just go to our website, cbs12.com, and click on Raw News. Police in Raleigh, North Carolina, have threatened to arrest a group who are feeding homeless people in the city. A group of Good Samaritans, led by Reverend Hugh Hollowell, were passing out coffee and sausage biscuits to the homeless when they were ordered to stop under threat of arrest. The city forbids handing out food in the park where they were located. Volunteers from Love Wins Ministries were feeding about 
70 people when officers from the Raleigh Police Department ended the free breakfast.